now we're going to show you how to use the repositioning sheet to boost and turn your patient. First, you'll see the repositioning sheet is already on the bed. And I want to point out that the repositioning sheet has these straps that go on the underside of the repositioning sheet. It's important that these straps face away from the patient. So when we get ready to go ahead and boost our patient, we want to go ahead and get the lift. Lower it down to her chest, about chest height. And then we're going to take our loop straps on the outer loop for the first connection, and we're going to put it here. And then we're going to go to the middle loop on the second strap. And then we're going to connect the third strap again on the middle loop. Again, this is the middle loop. We're going to connect it to the sling bar. And then we're going to go ahead to our last loop, and we're going to connect it on the outer loop and connect it to the sling bar. So once we have everything secure, it's important that you know we don't go past the knees because it could cause some hyperextension. It could be uncomfortable for the patient. So we're going to go ahead and raise the patient up so we can go ahead and get a boost to put her back towards the head of bed. And then once we get her up and to a certain point, we just want to clear the surface. So I don't want to lift the patient as high as the lift will allow. I only want to clear that surface. So I've gone ahead and cleared the surface. I'm going to go ahead and boost the patient. And then I'm actually going to pull her a little bit towards me and lower her back down because we're going to go ahead and turn our patient as well. So once we get her positioned in the correct spot, my partner over there is going to take off her lift straps so we can turn the patient in that direction. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out. While she does that, I'm going to disconnect these bottom two straps. And then I'm going to turn the sling bar and I'm just going to reconnect the straps here. And again, I'm going to use the middle loop strap and connect it. And then when we're ready, we're going to go ahead and raise the patient up. I'm going to give that to my partner because she can see what kind of turn is going to happen. And then if our patient can help, we're going to bend the knee. Again, we're always communicating with our patient, making sure that they're safe and that they're comfortable. And then this will get them a nice turn. So when we get them in that turn position, we can put in our wedges and our pillows and put them in that spot and keep them in that turn position. When we get our wedges and pillows in place, we can go ahead and lower the sling back down and the patient will remain in a turned position with those wedges and pillows. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, you can contact your local Hill Realm representative or you can go to hillrealm.com.